In this video, we investigate the effect of implementing a ballot scanner into a paper-based voting process. The considered voting process traditionally uses paper poll books, hand-marked paper ballots, and central count ballot scanners with precinct ballot submission to a ballot box. To simulate this voting process, we assume that 1,500 voters return out to the polling location following the arrival pattern shown on screen. This arrival pattern represents a large number of arrivals in the morning, arrivals decreasing at midday, and increasing in the afternoon. A visual representation of the simulated voting process is shown on screen, with voters entering the polling location, joining a queue to check-in where they receive a paper ballot, then traveling to voting booths where they mark their ballot by hand. After marking their ballot, the voter then travels to a ballot box where they submit their ballot. We assume that the resource allocation for this voting process consists of three paper poll books, 13 voting booths, one ballot box, and two ADA compliant ballot marking devices. With this resource allocation, voters wait an average of 20 minutes to vote. To investigate the effect of using a ballot scanning device in this polling location, we first need to understand the processing time of ballot submission to a ballot box and the processing time of submitting ballots to a digital ballot scanner. The ballot box submission process takes voters 12 seconds on average, but may take up to two minutes to submit their ballot. A distribution chart of ballot box submission times are currently shown on screen, with a majority of voters submitting their ballots in 5 to 14 seconds. The new ballot scanning process takes voters 19 seconds on average, but may take voters a maximum of two minutes to cast their ballot. A distribution chart of ballot scanning times is shown on screen, with the majority of voters scanning their ballots in 11 to 24 seconds. The differences in these processes may indicate that the ballot scanning step takes longer in general than the paper ballot box submission. This difference in processing time may require an adjusted resource allocation to reduce delays. Simulating the voting process with a ballot scanner in place of a ballot box indicates that voter wait times predominantly stay the same. With three paper bull books, 13 voting booths, two ADA-compliant ballot marking devices, and one ballot scanner allocated to the voting process, voter wait times are 21 minutes on average. Despite the presented voting process requiring no additional voting equipment when transitioning from a ballot box to a digital ballot scanner, additional considerations must be made. When introducing new voting equipment, it is critical to account for the rate of errors and breakdowns for the new device. When using a device that is new to voters, it is likely that voters will take longer to perform a voting step than expected, as they must become familiar with the new equipment. Error rates may also increase when more user interaction is required to complete a voting process. Additionally, different voting equipment may have a higher or lower likelihood of breakdowns that require a poll worker's attention. Understanding the difference in breakdowns and error rates may require observations throughout multiple elections but it is critical in determining how many devices should be allocated to each polling location. If breakdown rates are higher for a new device, or if breakdowns take longer to resolve, then more devices may be needed to ensure that voters do not face significant waits to vote. 